Hello, everyone. This is your Chinese teacher, April. Our focus today is five important grammar points in Lesson Six of the book. The first one, "zai," is used before a verb. This structure indicates the action is in progress. For example, the action in this sentence is 上班 "zai" indicates 上班 is in progress. Hence, the meaning of the sentence is "you are working." Another example. The two actions seen in this sentence are 上班 and 吃饭。不 forms the negative form of the structure. The meaning is "I'm not working. I'm eating a meal." The second grammar point is using 了 after a verb. We explained previously that 了 indicates the action is completed or a change of status. For example, 了 indicates the action can is completed. The meaning of the sentence is "I read a novel last night." This is where some misinformation got widespread that this character "le" indicates past tense. However, it is definitely not about past tense. I'll link an article on this in the lesson note. More examples. Wen Xueming is a person's name. "Le" indicates the action of writing is completed. Wen Xueming has written three books. Le in this sentence indicates a change of a plan. That for some reason we don't know, he is not going to school tomorrow. The third grammar point is how to ask yes/no questions. Before we normally use ma at the end of the statement. Now we have two more ways of asking yes/no questions. Take a look at these questions. Ma or the action word plus its negative form are the structural components of yes/no questions. These questions can be answered in full sentences or just a brief one. More examples. These yes/no questions are asking about completed actions. Ma or 有没有 are the structural components of yes/no questions. Let's answer these questions. The fourth grammar point is the usage of 几 Before we introduce it as a question word, how many, such as 几点、几月几日 Today we present another meaning of 几 as a few, several, some. The final grammar point is the usage of "do." Take a look at these examples and pay attention to the position of "do" in the sentence. Read through all the grammar points again and use them to make some sentences of your own. Thank you for watching. This is your teacher April signing off from the beautiful city of Hong Kong. I'll see you soon.